are taking a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtles in Disguise 4 pack from NECA Toys. This thing is retail price $124.99, Target exclusive. I was lucky enough to find this at my local Springfield, Missouri Target. Uh, it's a very large box, as you can tell. Around the back side here, we got our little glam shot of the turtles looking incognito, trying to stay stealthy uh, and blend in with their surroundings with their trench coats and hats. And then we got some glam shots over here. Um, showcasing them with the various accessories and we have this nice little call out here in the bottom right hand corner basically telling you that the head tops and the bottoms of their faces are now interchangeable so you can make all sorts of different various expressions which is a cool feature but the rest of the packaging we need to talk about because NECA is always really good at giving us little teasers about future figures coming in the line so we got the Ninja Turtles logo Turtles in the Skies but right here we have a silhouette of what appears to be Irma, this is pretty much confirmed at this point because when they did show the promo shots of the Pizza Monster figures, we did get to see a little glimpse of an Irma figure. So it looks like we're getting Irma. And we also have Joe Eyeball down here in the trash can. So we already know we're getting a Muckman and Joe Eyeball figure. So that's a nice little call out there. And then the other side, again, turtle logos. But then we have another silhouette of a figure. I'm guessing this is a human version of Baxter just because it's thin profile, especially with the hair being all over the place. And that would make sense. We've got, you know, the mutant fly version of Baxter Stockman. So let's go ahead and get a human version. That would make sense to pair with Irma. So you put those two nerds in a box together, obviously. And then we have a Rocksteady here in what appears to be a jail outfit costume. And then we also have a flyer for Combat Land, which was a cool little episode. And I think season seven where the turtles go to a theme park and it, you know, is overrun with killer robots, things like that. And we have a little flyer for Posh Pizza, which is uh, in an episode in the series where they go to a pizza joint in disguise using these trench coats, um, even though it says Vinny's right here. So uh, it could just be, an, uh, you know, a reference to the trench coat episode or there's also some crazy things going on in this episode where i think it's like leonardo and michelangelo get de-aged a little bit and they become child turtles so maybe we're going to get little accessory child turtles that are super small uh, then over here we've got a wanted poster for shrieka so maybe we're getting a shrieka figure in the future and then we pull down the window box display we also have a bunch of things going on here in the side so right here we got some yellow feathers. I'm assuming that is a uh, tip of the cap to Ace Duck. They've already kind of previously referenced that. So I'm really hoping we get an Ace Duck figure. Down here, we got some comic books. We got the Midnight Avenger there. This is obviously a reference to the Loot Crate Dark Turtle figure that we're going to be getting. And then we got the Pizza Monster right here. We already saw the reveal about a week ago of the Pizza Monsters that you could pre-order on the NECA store. And then we got some Shredder Bucks here. This one, I, I could be reading into it too much. This one's kind of got me stumped. We're, we're seeing a boot print and then uh, kind of like a, a hoof print, so to speak. I thought maybe this might be dirt bag, but then I remembered, of course, Scumbug. Yeah, Scumbug has a boot and he's got that kind of hoof thing on his foot there. So uh, my guess, yeah, it's it's gotta be Scumbug, right? As you can see, we got the turtles and their beautiful open box display. They got the trench coats, loads of accessories, but let's go ahead and get them out of their plastic prison and check them out up close. All right, here we have our fearsome foursome in disguise. Uh, they look great in my opinion. I like this set for multiple reasons. Number one, it gives everybody the opportunity that maybe missed out on the two packs when they were first released to get these turtle figures because underneath the clothes, these are the exact same figures except for the heads of the original releases. So Trench coat looks great. Got this nice little, you know, metal clasp there so you can actually cinch it down. Uh, the collar's a little bit stiffer so you can pop it up or you can fold it down. I like that they even went with the little details of having the, the shoulder tabs here on their trench coat. Goes all the way around as far as the drawstring. One interesting thing I noticed here is uh, their bandana is actually on a hinge this time so it can, you know, fold up and down, rotate 360 degrees but that is a difference over the original releases. We obviously have different heads and facial expressions, but the turtles themselves from the neck down are gonna be exactly the same as the previous releases. All the pants are the same, just, you know, basically sweatpants type thing where they're cinched around the waist and then cuff there. You can completely remove the trench coat, take off the pants, and then you've got a set of 
Ninja Turtles from NECA, you know, you, you don't have to leave these trench coats on if you don't want to. I'm purposely going to leave them on for display reasons because I already have the original releases, but I think they did a great job with these. I, I think it's a definite nice touch. Uh, you even got the little pockets there on the trench coat. Get his arm out of the way. The mobility and posability of the figures obviously is going to be somewhat limited by the fabric, but that's what I said. If you don't, don't care about it, you can take it off. See, it looks like we can stick something in his pocket. Let me double check. Yeah, sure enough. So you can you can put things in the pocket. It's not super deep, so you're not gonna be able to shove an entire sigh in there. But if you wanted to put a a slice of pizza pie in there, you definitely could. So that's interesting little detail. They actually, you know, went above and beyond and sewed in little pockets. I mean that's that's impressive. That's definitely something they didn't have to do, but that's what kind of sets NECA apart from everybody else. And in terms of comparing them, like I said, I do have the original releases here. Skin tone is going to be the exact same colorway and everything. There was a lighter release of the Turtles, uh, but me personally, I like this darker skin tone. But as you can see clearly, the facial expressions are much different, uh, much more serious and aggressive in the original release. But other than that, like I said, everything from the neck down is going to be the same. I'll just go ahead and use this to cover articulation real quick. So the head is going to be able to look up down, spin 360 degree. Like I said, it's a little bit different with their bandana where this one just spins around. The newer turtles in these disguise costumes have that hinge. So this this doesn't, but everything else articulation wise is gonna be the same. Like I said, left, right, just a little bit. Shoulders up and out. You're gonna have a swivel at the bicep. You're gonna have your bicep bend. You're also gonna have a swivel at the elbow. You're going to have 360 degree rotation of the hand as well as you know your hinge joint at the wrist you also have torso twist even though i don't know why you'd ever want to spin his legs all the way around but you can spin it around uh, the lower part of their shell is soft and pliable which is going to make it easier for you to take off their pants if you want to take them out of their disguise legs going to kick that far forward going to go that far out and let's go that far back Double jointed knee, so you're going to be able to bend it far back. We'll be able to rotate the leg just a little bit left and right. We're going to have a hinge at the foot so you can bend it up and down. And you're also going to have 360 degree rotation and some pivot side to side. So that is the articulation of the turtles. Like I said, using this one as an example because he's already out of the trench coat and everything because he's the original release, but everything is going to be the exact same. These guys come with awesome accessories, but let me cover the head real quick. So this is something that was different on the call out of the box is you can actually interchange the bottom part of the head versus the top part of the head. So let me borrow a weapon here, get the bottom of Leo's katana, push it through there. And then now we're able to separate the mouth and the eyes and everything. So I can take this off, set that aside a different expression so instead of having happy donatello here i can get a frowny face donatello and you're just gonna match it up this little notch here you're gonna make sure his bandana lines up with it and then we've effectively changed the facial expression of the head and we just pop it back on the ball joint there and then we have a different look for donatello so i love that it's a great way to you know change the posability and the expressions of your characters. But like I said, there's a ton of accessories to go over. So let's just go ahead and cover those real quick. So first and foremost, there is a ton of hands. So there's eight in total, eight extra pair. Four of the pair though are identical. So four pairs of hands are gonna be these open palms. So all four turtles can effectively have the same open palms. And two other sets are also identical. And these are the thumbs up hands so that makes six total then you're also going to have these open palms that are good for holding the sigh for Raphael. and then once again you're going to have a different variation of open palm hands that again are great for holding the sigh weapon for Raphael. and speaking of weapons of course we had to get the two sigh weapons for Raphael there of course leonardo comes with his trusty katana blades so we get two katana we get donatello's bow staff which does twist and separate if you want to i'm gonna put that back there 
And then of course, Michelangelo has his two nunchuck with metal chains, which is great. And then we also have four different interchangeable heads on top of the four that we already get for them. So we got Leonardo here with a different facial expression. Again, you can interchange all these bottom and top pieces. We got Michelangelo, the, you know, kind of a angry shouting face. Got a Donatello with a serious expression. Got a Raphael head again with a shout and he's got his tongue open there. Then we have four of our hats here. So when they're in disguise that you can put them on the turtles as is. Have that deep covered brow look so no one really knows that there's a turtle under this trench coat even though the massive humpback shell kind of gives it away. But we got four of these hats, they're all identical, everything's the same, soft rubbery material. There's no notches or anything like that to lock it in place, but we got the little black tune paint lines there so it gives it added depth. You can stack them if you're trying to display them out of the way, so they do intertwine with each other. And then we have our human mask face. Uh, these remind me of Uncle Fester. There's four different heads. They just pop on the ball joint there. And you got your double shaded tune look there. Each head looks slightly different, so the facial expressions are all just a little bit different. So each turtle can have their own unique head. So that makes 12 heads in total. So the four on their bodies, the four different turtle heads, and then these four human masks, so to speak. So 12 heads in total, which is awesome. Like I said, great accessories. Then we have this ice cream and anchovy pizza uh, with pepperonis and olives. Just rubbery so you can bend it. Don't have to worry about the snap or anything like that. Then we have a just basic, looks like, uh, you know, normal Supreme pizza here. Uh, it does actually have the pizza pan still on the bottom, which I thought was kind of interesting. And then we have a single slice of pizza. Of course, it does fit in the turtle's hand, so you just sit there, push it in there, and they can hold the pizza just fine. Then we have the book, The Hare and the Tortoise, not to be confused with the tortoise and the hare. We have a different, unique kind of biker Bicycle Boy helmet, or not helmet, hat here. It just says weird. It's got the upwards front bill bent. Again, we got our tune shading. Uh, this is rubbery plastic as well, so it's not hard, but yeah, you can stretch it, put it on any of the turtles. Uh, for Michelangelo in particular, because I'm associating the skateboard as Michelangelo's. Obviously all the turtles do skateboard, but Michelangelo is seen the most with a skateboard. The wheels actually do spin and rotate. But if you want to pair it again, make hipster Michelangelo, you definitely can put this weird hat on him and then have him on the skateboard or holding the skateboard because it does fit inside his hands and the grip. And then we have the turtle pigeon here, complete with Renaissance mask and everything. Uh, his eyes are definitely wonky. You got one looking up and one looking down. But line work there looks great. Everything's in the line other than the wonky eyes, and I can't remember if that was a part of the cartoon or not. That, that could be a defect, and that could just be the way it was supposed to be represented. I can't remember. And then we also have this awesome boom box. It's all solid one piece, but paint works fine. No line issues whatsoever. Everything's straight. Uh, you can put this in a turtle's hands, and they can hold this and control this. But overall, super excited I got these. Very happy to add these to the collection. Like I said, this is perfect for anybody that missed out on the original release turtles when they first came out and you don't want to pay those crazy scalper prices or you didn't like those new repaint with the brighter colors. This is definitely the time to find these if you can. Like I said, Target exclusive, $124.99 is the retail price. I'll put uh, you know the UPC information down there so you guys can look to see if your local Target has it by scanning one of their in-store barcodes or something like that. But Highly, highly recommend this set. If you do come across it, definitely check it out. The accessories make this fantastic, but again, it's a perfect opportunity to pick up all four turtles if you just want basic turtles by removing their trench coat and pants. So anyways, let me know what you're most excited for, what you guys are looking forward to the most for NECA toys as far as Ninja Turtle releases. Let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button, share this video with your friends if you found the information helpful. And as always, thanks for watching guys. It really means a lot. Thank you.